Hello mutants and marble maniacs. Have you ever wondered what's going on under the skin of everybody's favorite amphibious X-Men villain Toad? Well, you're in for a slimy treat, because today we're diving deep into the anatomy of this pale-skinned, tongue-waggling acrobatic dude. Toad has some seriously unique biological features, from his prehensile tongue to the flexible bone structure that lets him leap around like a frog on steroids. We'll explore the science behind his super stretchy tongue, the muscular powerhouse that is his entire body, and maybe even figure out why he's got such a strange anatomy. And trust us, it's not just from eating too many bugs. So buckle up, X-Fans, because we're about to dissect the hell out of this Toad. Metaphorically, of course. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of Toad's anatomy together. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Who is Toad? How does a deformed baby get mutant abilities? Well, listen up Marvel fans. Ever heard of Mortimer Toynbee, aka Toad from the X-Men? This dude had one seriously messed up start in life. Born into an English family that ditched him on sight because of his deformities, he got thrown in the deep end of the Black Womb Project. Imagine being labelled a mutant reject. It's harsh, right? Now, Toad wasn't just dealing with lousy genetics, he was stuck in an orphan where the other kids gave him trouble for his looks, his weird body, and the fact that he could jump like a human pogo stick. The poor guy got so much heat that it messed with his head. The orphanage even thought he was mentally slow when truth be told, he's rocking some serious smarts. Loneliness hit him hard, and Toad was so desperate for love that he turned into this overly eager to please guy, doing whatever it took just to feel wanted. It's a wild backstory that sets the stage for Toad's journey in the X-Men universe. Life's a crazy ride, especially when you're a mutant with a leaping ability and a heart craving love. How does his bone structure work? Check this out about Toad. The lad's got some seriously wild bone structure going on. His bones are like the epitome of flexibility. Did you know? Toad can bend and twist like a circus performer, and the best part, no worries about wrecking his spine. You've seen him, right? He's always sitting around in that hunched position like it's no big deal. Well, it turns out he can pull off crazy contortionist and gymnastic stunts without a hint of risk to his backbone. It's like his skeleton is made for the X games. So while the rest of us would be nursing a sore back after attempting one of his moves, Toad's just chilling out unfazed. The guy's got the ultimate bone set up for a life of mutant gymnastics. No need for caution signs when your spine is practically superhero material. Stretching limits. How far can Toad's tongue extend? Now, get a load of Toad's freaky tongue action. This guy's got a Toad-tastic superpower. A tongue that can stretch out like it's on a mission, reaching up to a whopping 30 feet. Imagine having that kind of reach at a buffet or bed. But it's not just for show. Toad can snag stuff and people with that tongue. He uses it like a mutant whip. And get this, it's not your average wimpy human tongue. No, it's strong as hell, like practically Hulk level level strength. He can lift and crush things with that slimy appendage. So it's like having a built-in grappling hook with a bunch of serious muscle. Oh, and here's a gross but cool part. His tongue oozes out this sticky mucus that's like glue. He can even spit it out like a mutant projectile. Toad's tongue is basically a big fat whip on steroids. It just goes to show that when life gives you a toad-like tongue, you might as well make it the most incredible weapon in the X-Men arsenal. Can he control minds by using his tongue? Okay, hold on to your hats because Toad's got some next level mind control tricks up that slimy sleeve of his. Picture this, he's got those sneaky glands in his tongue and fingertips that squirt out an odorless pheromone venom. And guess what? It's not just a party trick. This venom goes straight through your skin and into the bloodstream. Here's the mind blowing part now. Once the venom's in your system, Toad's basically holding a remote control for your brain. Yeah, he can 
puppet master anyone exposed to it. But here's the catch. Your skin's got to be like a leaky faucet for this power move to work. So if you're not porous, consider yourself safe from Toad's mind-bending shenanigans. It's like something out of a mutant sci-fi nightmare, right? Toad's not just a leaping tongue waggling maniac. He's also the puppet master of your worst nightmares. Watch out, X-Men. Toad's playing some crazy mind games and he's not holding back. How hazardous is Toad's acidic saliva? Okay, brace yourself for Toad's seriously messed up party trick. This guy's got saliva that's like a one-way ticket to the afterlife. His spit's got this killer acid that can just straight up end you on the spot. No chewing necessary, folks. It's like Toad's got a built-in digestion system in his mouth. And here's the creepy bit. He's not just stopping at a quick death. Toad can chow down on his victim whole, like he's at an all-you-can-eat mutant buffet. His saliva's not picky either. It's sticky as anything, and it sticks to just about everything. You get caught up in that goop and it's like you're in a dissolving nightmare. And that's not even the worst of it. This acid can also paralyze you. So imagine being stuck in Toad's spit, fully aware, but unable to do anything. That's like a horror movie, but way too real. Moral of the story, steer clear of Toad's mouth at all costs, unless you're into being a mutant snack. Yikes. Can Toad really spit fire from his tongue? Guess what, folks? Toad's constantly leveling up in the mutant department. After setting up shop in New Tyan, he gets hit with a second round of mutations. And this time, it's all about the hot stuff. Picture this. Toad's now spitting out flames from his tongue, like he's some sort of mutant dragon? Now, the exact details of these flames are a little bit fuzzy. We don't know if they're barbecue hot or packing some unique powers, but it's like Toad went from slimy, salivating amphibious to straight up fire-breathing dragon. But hey, who needs a lighter when you've got a Toad, right? So next time you're hanging out with Toad in New Tyan, keep an eye out for when he starts spitting hot fire. It's gonna be like a mutant barbecue pit in his mouth, and you never know when he's gonna turn up that heat. That's the fiery side of Toad. Mutant upgrades, one flame at a time. Does he have healing abilities? Listen up, Marvel Maniacs. Toad's not just a mutant show-off. He's got the ultimate get-out-of-injury-free card. This dude's packing a healing factor that's like having Wolverine on speed dial. So check it out. If he breaks a bone or catches a nasty flu, Toad's bouncing back in just a few hours. No sick days for this guy. And get this, even the big stuff, the injuries that would have most of us bedridden for weeks, Toad is shaking that off in a matter of days. It's like his body is on a mission to be the ultimate healing machine. But wait, there's also more. Toad's not stopping at bruises and bumps. If you chop a part of him off, like say an arm or a leg, no, no biggie. He's in the club of mutants who can straight up regenerate body parts. Like his body's got a mutant miracle grow for missing limbs. So next time you see Toad take a beating, don't sweat it. Just give him a minute and he'll be back in action like nothing ever happened. That's the Toad for you. Making healing look easy since forever. Mutant power activated. How powerful is his night sight? Okay, buckle up, peeps. Because Toad's got some funky eyeball superpowers. This guy's not just seeing the regular rainbow. He's also checking out the ultraviolet and infrared scene. It's like mutant night vision on steroids, giving him the upper hand when the lights go out. But here's the kicker. Our man Toad's got some serious sensitivity issues. Daylight is his kryptonite. And without those trusty light filtering goggles, he'd be squinting like a vampire in the sun. Just picture the guy hopping around around with those shades that aren't just there because they look good, they're his daylight survival kit. And it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Toad also has myopia. Toad also has myopia. Yes, he's got nearsightedness going on. So while he's rocking the mutant vision in some spectrums, he's still squinting at the fine print. Toad's like the poster child for mutant vision quirks. Night vision, yeah. Daylight aversion, double yeah. But hey, he makes it work. One pair of goggles at a time. Mutant eyes doing their thing in the weirdest way possible.
What types of super strength does he have? All right, let's talk about Toad's strength game. He's not messing around in this department. This dude's got a solid class 10 superhuman strength rating, especially in his back and legs. It's like his lower body's on steroids, making him the LeBron James of mutant leapers. So check this out, so check this out. Toad's not just doing your average hop, skip and jump. With a vertical leap, this guy can rocket himself up to 25 feet in the air. That's higher than most ceilings talk about reaching new heights. And when he's feeling like traveling long distances, Toad's broad jump hits a whopping 37 feet. It's like he's got his own personal mutant trampoline. Now, it used to be all about the legs, but recently Toad's been hitting it out of the park with his upper body strength. He's throwing kicks with superhuman force, turning every brawl into a mutant powered face off. Nope, Toad's not just a leaper. He's a powerhouse on two legs, delivering kicks that make you think twice about picking that fight. His strength Strength game, it's not just for show, folks. Does he have any love interests? Can he reproduce? Okay, gather round, Marvel romance fans, because we've got the scoop on Toad's love life, and let us tell you, it's a roller coaster. Back in the day when Toad was throwing down with Magneto's squad, he fell head over heels for Scarlet Witch, like love at first mutant mayhem. But here's where it all gets a bit uh, creepy. Toad's devotion to Wanda went from zero to a hundred really quickly. We're talking obsession level, like he wanted to put her in a mutant sized bubble and keep her all to himself. Kidnappings, capture attempts, the whole nine yards. And spoiler alert, it did not work. Wanda wasn't falling for Toad's love and his plans were a big old fail. Fast forward to the future and Toad's had a glow up. And then the new body, second mutation, the whole shebang happened to him. He even found some love in the mutant dating pool, hooking up with Husk. But hold up, that Scarlet Witch crush, still there, like a mutant sized elephant in the room. Toad's journey from the X-Men Men villain to his redemption is impressive, but his not so healthy obsession with Wanda, that's the plot twist that just won't quit. Love in the Toad's world, never a dull moment. Is he immortal? Sadly, Marvel fam, you have to brace yourself for some heavy news. So, during the Empire crossover chaos, the X-Men went full-on warrior mode against the Katati alien invasion of Krakoa. Magneto, the big boss, took charge, and even Toad, our loyal mutant buddy, suited up for the battle. But here's the gut punch. Toad didn't make it out alive. In the heat of the fight, the Katati general did this creepy move, grabbing Toad by the neck like a mutant hostage. Long story short, Toad's neck didn't take it well. It was snapped like a twig, and that was game over for this dude. Now, we know what you're thinking. Krakoan resurrection protocols to the rescue, right? Yeah, Toad's coming back, but here's the kicker. Even though death is a temporary setback in the mutant world, the emotional toil is real. Magneto, the big shot, had to watch Toad, one of his ride-or-die soldiers, kick the bucket. That hurts, protocol or not. Toad, the unsung hero, found his place in Krakoa, fought hard, and even went down swinging to protect the mutant homeland. It's a rough chapter, but in the story of his life, death is not just a plot twist. Toad will bounce back, and we'll all be here for it. Marvellous verdict. Alright, mutant enthusiasts. Alright, mutant enthusiasts. We just finished peeling back the slimy layers and dug deep into the wild world of Toad's anatomy. Toad's body is a mutant playground. From his crazy flexible bones to that epic super stretchy tongue that's basically a Swiss army knife. But here's the kicker. It's not just about the physical stuff. Toad's got a healing factor that's practically a superhero cheat code. And his eyes are like mutant night vision goggles with a sensitivity to daylight that's both a blessing and a curse. And let's not forget the emotional roller coaster from that seriously strange obsession with the Scarlet Witch to biting the dust in the Empire crossover. But hey, with those resurrection protocols at play, Toad is bound to rise again. So there you have it folks. Toad, the mutant with more twists and turns than a Marvel movie. Stay tuned for more mutant madness and for your regular dose of X-Men exploration. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.